So these are the last four gates of Kuf and the last four gates of the tree in total. Gates 179 through 182. Um, these are, in my opinion, the most complex of all of the gates because what they describe is the way in which consciousness, the normal everyday Malkuth awareness, has to be sort of damped down. Um, because in a brain, a brain-bound awareness cannot accommodate the true extent of reality cannot accommodate all the information that is available to awareness in each moment because each moment is filled with infinite change it's continuous and the brain bound awareness cannot encompass that infinitude of information and remain conscious of it, okay? So the mind, and this is not the brain-bound awareness, but the mind is capable of encompassing the infinitude of information, but the mind is rarely a conscious aspect of the Malkuth awareness. With great training, etc., it can become so, but in general, the Malkuth awareness, especially the human being, is very limited. There is so much that transpires that we are either unconscious of or our mind makes grappling with that infinitude a subconscious thing. It relegates it to the subconscious, the habitual mind. And through the imposition of habit, we can cope with the infinitude of information coming at us constantly. So we have these subconscious mechanisms to deal with that quantity, that overwhelming quantity of input. So, uh, that process is very complicated and very complex. And these last four gates point out this complexity. Now, my commentary here has been very superficial and it will be even more so on these four gates because what these the amount of information that these gates can teach you is so far beyond what I can comment on so really sincerely working these gates opens you up to an incredible amount of information about the human psyche and specifically the role of the subconscious mind in the Malkuth awareness. And that's so much more than I can convey in my little commentary here. And it's not up to me to convey that to you. It's up to you to discover that if you wish, okay? And this is a method by which you can very much so um, obtain that kind of education, okay? Remember, we're dealing here, and that's what these four gates are about specifically, is the relationship of this Malkuth awareness of the Hod awareness and the Malkuth awareness 
with essential meaning and the perception of essential meaning and the quantity of information conveyed in essential meaning is infinite. It is not something the rational intellect can encompass and fully comprehend. So much of this communication remains unconscious to where the rational intellect, the conscious intellect, has no uh, contact with it, <clears throat> no direct contact with it, or it's relegated to that subconscious interaction with it. <clears throat> okay. So, <clears throat> so how the gates work, really, is this reliance upon a central meaning. Because we're relating to the gates through essential meaning and then after we perceive the essential meaning we hand it over to the rational intellect and the rational intellect elaborates everything that we have learned through the essential meaning and this is where the education that the gates offer us occurs is that processing that the rational intellect does that the lower aspects of the mind do we process the essential meaning okay and that's where understanding comes from is that processing of essential meaning by these lower aspects of our consciousness okay. so we have today one triangle, two quadrangles, and a pentangle. Okay? And our first gate is the triangle of gate 179. And it starts in Hod, takes Kuf, Pisces, down to Malkuth, hidden path directly up to Chokmah, and then the hidden path from Hawkma directly down to Hod and back around. Okay, this clearly <clears throat> educates about the relationship that the Malkuth awareness and the Hod awareness have with essential meaning. And we know that that connection between Hokma and Hod is, or excuse me, Hokma and Malkuth is about our DNA and about the very specific manifestation of the very specific set of essential meanings that are us, okay? how we manifest our essential meaning in Malkuth, okay? And it's also that connection with Hod is a direct relationship between the rational intellect and essential meaning and how the quality with which, the clarity with which we are able to directly perceive essential meaning and its impact on the rational intellect. So this gate is all about our relationship with essential meaning, which really is the whole substance of our Malkuth awareness. Okay? So, gate number 180, first quadrangle here, is Hod, along Pisces, along Kuf, to Malkuth, up that hidden path from Malkuth to Chokma, down the path of Zayin, of Gemini, into Tiferet, and then the hidden path from Tiferet to Hod, and then back around. So, now, 
this is really about the uniqueness of the rational intellect and, of course, its capacity to process a central meaning in the context of self and other. This is, again, all in the context of self and other here in Malkuth. It's all about self and other. <clears throat> that awareness that's first introduced up in Tiferet through that path of Zayin, of Gemini. Okay? This is a very complex part of the Malkuth awareness. Because it really, it places it again, not just about our manifestation of our essential meaning, but our relationship to the essential meaning of other in relationship to self. Okay. Uh, gate number 181 is another quadrangle. Now, this is a very sweet gate, really. It goes from Hod, down Pisces to Malkuth, up that hidden path to Hokma, up the path of Aries, of He, to Kether, and then down that hidden path from Kether to Hod, and then back around. So, <clears throat> the involvement of Kether makes all the difference uh, in terms of this gate. This is Kether's blessing. Kether's blessing on Hokma and that little bit of essential meaning, that little reflection of Kether that we manifest in Malkuth. And it's also this Catholic blessing on Hod, on the rational intellect. So, Catholic really blessing that transition of awareness from Hod to Malkuth, that damping down so that we can, in Malkuth, accommodate that infinite amount of information being conveyed to us from the universe. We can manage it. And this is really a blessing from Kether, so that in Malkuth we can somehow, as these unique personages, manifest, you know, um, accommodate that overwhelming amount of information available to us. We can accommodate it and function here in this realm of Malkuth in relationship to other. Okay? Okay. Now, the final gate, 182, is the, the pentagram, pentagon. And it begins, as usual, in a hog, takes Pisces down to Malkuth, takes a hidden path all the way up to Hakma, our connection with the central meaning, takes hay up to uh, Cather, Aries up to Cather, and then takes that hidden path down to Gebura, our own unique power, and then takes Mercury down to Hot, and then back around. Now, no. This is mostly a Catholic bl blessing on Gebura, upon our own 
unique power which really drives and creates the hard rational intellect. This is mostly a child of Gebura, of our own unique power that manifests through the subconsciousness into the Malkuth awareness. Okay? And that Malkuth awareness is here illustrated as directly the child of Hokma, that unique quantity of essential meaning that we manifest. We are the manifestation of that unique little combination of essential meaning. Everything in Malkuth and the material realm is the manifestation of its own unique essential meaning. Okay. Now, one thing that is very apparent in making this transition from Hod to Malkuth <clears throat> is <clears throat> the desire the yearning for that static moment of Malkuth. That static moment is a direct reflection of the, the eye. That calm of the eye is a direct reflection of the static moment of Malkuth. But the normal everyday Malkuth awareness of a human being is not fully conscious of that static moment. The that infinitely finite present moment of Malkuth, where we exist, but we are not consciously aware of it in Malkuth. That is where the subconscious mind, the structure of the human awareness in Malkuth, allows both of these to coexist. The, the earth region of the mental body and that Catherian static present moment. These can both coexist because of the subconscious and unconscious aspects of the Malkuth awareness. Okay? Uh, I'm sure my explanation is not doing it justice. It's something you will have to experience for yourself through this gate, this connection between Hod and Malkuth, the Kuf, the back of the head, okay? So, those are the final gates, and that is all 182 gates. Now, I am going to convert this into a book, and it will be much more, my commentary on each of the gates will be much, uh, much bigger than it has been in this series of videos, much more informative. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>